Hi guys, welcome to Real Talk with Real Food Recovery. This is our weekly wisdom segment with our Real Food Recovery leaders. And I think you will be very excited to hear what we have to say this week because we are going to address the topic of when you feel a binge right around the bend. I will start out and for me, I had an experience a week ago on Friday afternoon. Sometimes Fridays sneak up on me and I have this irrational hunger come over me. And it's not just a 20 minute thing that I let that craving, because it's not really a craving, it's more of a gnawing at me. And I am now aware that Friday afternoons can be tough for me. And it seemed to last from three o'clock till nine o'clock at night. And I kept thinking to myself, how do I want to handle this? Because I, I can't seem to get full on my regular food. There's just like this empty hole in my gut. So what's going on? And I knew that in Real Food Recovery, we have these connection hours on Saturday mornings where I get to check in with one of our leaders. Who, whoever's a member gets to check in with our leaders on Saturday morning. And I kept saying to myself, I am writing my story right now. And what is the story? What's the ending? What's the final chapter going to be when I show up tomorrow morning and tell this story? Because I've got, I'm forming this big beautiful story right now how do i want the ending to be so i kept just playing over and, and over in my mind i can be, tell the story of triumph or i can tell this story of i i just could not keep it together and i wanted to be able to share the story of triumph and tell what i learned from it either way i was going to learn a lesson but i just kept focusing on that future self future self future shelf how do i want to feel tomorrow morning how do i want to show up how do I want to tell my story and what I learned? So that's some of the things that I work on. And I will let Jamie share how she handles when that aura starts to come over her. When, Because we know we can feel that binge. It has an aura about it when it starts to come on. So Jamie, yes. share some of your thoughts. Yeah. Uh, so I, I love the whole um, metaphor for binging like a train leaving the station. Um, and there are, you know, our, our leadership team was just talking about this earlier, that once that binge train is is loaded up and the whistle blows and it starts to roll, there oftentimes, just about all the time, uh, once it picks up speed, it's, it's imp almost impossible to stop. And it doesn't, and I'm talking about the speed towards the destination of the binge, right? Because as we pick up the speed, um, we might feel like, okay, this is, this train um, is going to, to get to its destination of the binge. Uh, we can feel the energy ramp up. We can feel the dopamine uh, release start. We can feel um, the anxiety, uh, the heart, the, the, the increase in our heart rate, increase in our, in our resting pulse rate, the increase in our thoughts, all of it start to speed up. And that's why I like this train, this train metaphor. The other, the other thing that I thought about immediately is what if the train could, could be a train trip instead of a runaway train? What if, if the binge is going to happen, what if we could just learn from the process? What, what if we, if the binge was an opportunity for deep level of awareness? And I mean, every bite every choice we make uh because many times for those of us who have a history of binging it's not just one food it's a combination of foods or it's a food that's a concoction of things um and what if we were to pick each part of the, of that of that food or that forbidden item uh pick it apart and and eat it with awareness and eat it in in a mindful way and i'm not advocating doing this you know um in, in everything in every way because there are some foods that cannot be eaten mindfully or moderated mindfully but if we know that train has left the station and we know that we're headed towards this place of i am going to eat foods i don't normally eat and want to eat a lot of them what if we could do it in a way that allows us to notice every step of it instead of I'm just going to plow through this to a place of perfect thickness and over fullness and perfect hate self-hatred and self-shame and self-condemnation it's a it's a form a binge the the outcome of a binge is a form of perfection and I don't mean 
in a positive way. It's a form of, of, of like this most negative kind of, of perfection where we, we get to a place of a binge where we make ourselves completely sick and overwhelmed with feelings of regret. What if the, if we never had to get to that place? What if we didn't have to go all in? What if that train didn't have to leave the station and turn into a runaway train going off of a cliff? What if we could just say, I'm going to do this and I'm going to learn everything I can? What if the binge became an opportunity to, to become disenchanted with the whole, the whole process? And what if instead of a runaway train, this was an, a, an amazing opportunity to learn and to gather information and data so that when we feel the binge coming around the bend again, we can take a moment and pause and get curious and learn. And, and what used to be a runaway train is now just a slow moving opportunity for growth. Shay, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I think, you know, this is such a, a key topic because, you know, here we are, this is real talk. So we've got to talk real, don't we? Because real life, life is what happens when we're busy making other plans. I love that saying. And I want to speak into, which I think follows really well on from what you ladies have said. I want to speak into who we're being yes what we eat is vital 100 percent. you know i'm all about clean healthy nourishing foods but who we're being is just as if not more important in, in, in things you know and if we find ourselves uh things happening the binges come on we've, we've gone that train's gone we're like tickets as it were what are we actually saying to ourselves what is the language that we're saying to ourselves when we've like hit the wall hit the fridge hit the whatever you know and it's just like we've gone what are we actually saying who are we being because that language is so key what we're saying you know and we end up in this space where we end up with guilt and shame and shitting all over ourselves and judgy voice comes out and all this kind of stuff that doesn't speak of empowerment that doesn't speak of kindness and compassion you know it's it's very closely linked to deprivation you know i can't i mustn't i shouldn't i won't da, 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 da. we're restricting we're depriving but when we can start to compassionately and curiously journey with ourselves and move from get to and leaning in like, ah, isn't it interesting that I just ate the entire blah, 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 or whatever, and actually lean in with curiosity. What is actually going on? Who am I being? What am I saying to myself? And why is this happening? And from that place, that's identity focused recovery, because out of our who then flows our do when we can go into that deep transformational shift place mm -hmm. instead of just trying to put little sort of, you know, like whack-a-moles or plasters or whatever on. We're actually doing deep, deep transfer. Who are we being friends um, at the end of the day? What are we saying to ourselves, and how do we move from compassion? Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. So we recognize at Real Food Recovery that when we are struggling and when we are recovering, there are times that binges will be part of that journey. And so we want to help everyone who is fighting that fight to do it in the most compassionate, loving way to ourselves. And we believe that will get you closer to recovery when we can do this in this loving, compassionate way and minimize the damage as much as possible on the journey. So we hope you've learned something through this. And if you have more questions, you can find us at realfoodrecovery4u.com. That's the number four and the letter U. And we hope to see you there. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.